everyone and welcome to little bits of dance trails i am entering this experience assuming you have warmed up so if you haven't warmed up your body please do take the time now thank you very much for tuning in this song is making me be a dork i'll invite in some waving thrills today do these arm movements based from the shoulder outward, shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingertips. And there's even that exploration of making the reverse action and then transferring it through the, el uh, the shoulders. So I would say practicing that. And really practicing that in a variety of ways. Like, what does the rest of your body do? For instance, you can just practice it standing in a nice position. You could lift one heel and draw that ankle in so that you're just sort of in the hourglass position. You could practice it at various levels for fun. You can practice it at that straight shoulder level. Remember, I'm just traveling along the anatomy of the, of the situation in my mind. So I'm just doing fingertips, knuckles, wrist, elbow, shoulder. And I'm going to watch out for the wandering thumb. Shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knuckles, fingertips. If you are belly dancing as your main focus, you'll want to keep that thumb out right next to your index finger, tucked in there. If you are focusing in more on street dance style, like I've been lately, um, one of my teachers recommended the thumb in. So I'm gonna bring my thumb in sometimes when I'm doing it. It's helping me keep more um, straight angles on tutting. But if you're not tutting <laughs> in your practice, I would say that you would wanna work on just keeping it right there. If you are tutting, what happens if you keep it there is it creates a little bit of a hump in your hand. And if you pop it underneath, the hand goes a little bit more straight. So I thought that was a cool tip, which came from one of my friends and teachers, Koi. So here we go. So drilling that from there, starting at the fingertip. Now, the next thing to focus on is your face. I did just stick out my tongue for real. So unless you're doing it as sort of a ah, sort of thing, you know, check in with what's happening. Sometimes I find moving can be nice. So another thing you can do besides sitting still with this move, you could lower it and just a little bit. You could put it at the heart level if you want. And you could move with it and or you could lift it. You could put it more at the eye level. Or just keep it right at the shoulder level. It's a pretty great workout <laughs> either way. Another thing that you can do that you can put into that drill would be a step step or some type of footwork pattern so you can do a step touch a step lean a step touch a step lean which is sort of like a modified grapevine right works well with this song There's not really a right or wrong way to do it. I think it depends on the song that you're doing. Like, you could jump on this thing. If I was gonna jump on that one though, I would probably 
be doing heel touches. Or toe touches, or just foot step outs. Whatever feels right. You see how you could take that slow rhythm? Or you could take that faster one. You can do double singles. Slow it down. And then speed it up. Right? So then, you get into a groove with something like that. It feels very counterintuitive if you're used to belly dancing and used to being way more step and stop, step and stop, step ball change. And you can also add that in, which is really cool. Really fun way to do fusion. with that I'm just playing with it and if you're like what I don't want to just chill and kick back and just do a little heel step a little touch out step out with the ball of your foot right and then start to add in your waves You'll find that it'll just happen. You'll start leaning. Maybe even take a step. Maybe it's a step touch. And look, I started doing snake arms. Instead of arm waves, which also is fun. Transition. Do a cycle. Of snake arms. And then stop and change your foot pattern. Pull that foot in, do another cycle. with that just a little bit more. Think of some options with your snake arms. You know how we do birds sometimes. I've been enjoying coming in and out. <sighs> how are your arms feeling? <laughs> All right, let's throw another drill in the mix for funsies here. Just where you're taking the undulation then <clears throat> that we were just doing, and instead of transferring it shoulder to shoulder, let it go down your skeleton on that side. So think about that joint and what would be the next joint if you're walking down the skeleton, it would be in your rib cage, then it would travel down to your hip joint and your knee joint and your ankle joint, and then you could transfer it through your feet and then bring it up that entire journey and out. So think about that. If you don't like transferring it on your feet, just bring it back up. Stay on that one side until you get comfortable with it. There's not a ton in the leg for me yet, but I like putting my focus there, <laughs> not falling, and activating it sometimes with a step. A little kick. Mm. 
maybe take a break and shoot it off to the other side if you don't like the foot transfer. Right, so I'm just trying to have some patience here and follow my skeleton all the way through. Right? Mess with it. Take those concepts, mess with it. Oh, excuse me. And then, you know, don't forget to add your hands in as an element. practicing sometimes because I'm so used to belly dancing and doing hips and hands and arm positions that I, I like practicing coordinating so hands and feet are one of my favorite ones right now or I'll do try to do head and hips because that's really weird <laughs> but hands and feet back to that so what I mean by that is maybe I mean um, literal coordination like out in out in around around or maybe I don't mean coordination maybe I mean hands are doing a floreo and the feet are traveling are great binding okay, which is actually very ATS so I like You hear that bass line is what I'm trying to do with my feet. So I might just try to do the in my feet. And then I'll just try to get some waving in. Just trying to do my hands in the vocals or maybe the guitar. Right? It gets a little muddy sometimes, but you're just trying to give yourself a map so you can stay on the road. You can still have a little bit of creativity in how it happens. went off in my head because I love this song so you see how I'm just pushing myself to not stop moving even when I'm all uh I can slow down though and in fact I think slowing down is really good not to move it's hard to keep on moving the feet the whole time as a drill because if you're really performing with the musicality of it you do want to stop so feel free to give yourself those stop lights like okay you know what this is a super obvious red light in the song and if I don't stop I'm gonna get like a really expensive ticket here so go ahead right with yourself but it's also really great to make those pathways and push yourself to do counterintuitive things.
I can't even talk and do it. <laughs> right, I'm just pushing myself through the whole song to wave my hands and move my feet and pick an instrument or a line and just keep going even if it feels weird. Try stuff and do things no one is here. I've also been doing, and this is just new for me, I've been letting my face do the weird things. I'm trying to stay aware of them though, so they're authentic and not just, oh, I'm not thinking, but more like, oh, my face is doing a thing because this, this move is hard or this song is so good or whatever. Um, I've been letting those things happen and just trying to see them and uh, let people see me look weird because it's real and authentic. And it feels nice. There's enough filters and pretty stuff in the world. So if I make a weird face, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. So there you go. Just a little bit of fun times with the drills. And that's where my head's been and what kind of things are happening over here in dance class. <laughs> Got this new microphone. Bye for now.